I think everyone knows who this guy is, no matter which actor's playing him. But what about when the actor's just playing a younger him? And welcome back to the heart of the stories we tell. A series where I spend way too much time thinking about what makes a story. And today's episode is... A review of the TV show Gotham. Just in case you're living under a rock, Gotham is the Fox TV show that talks about young Bruce Wayne just after his parents were murdered. It's had its ups and downs, but we're just about to go into season three. So let me just start by saying I've been a fan off and on for the last two years, and this season opener did not disappoint. It was on point. We got some Court of Owls. We got, well, I want to say Killer Croc, but maybe Killer Stegosaurus, man. Oh, We got Fish Mooney. We got a really great line from Riddler. Remember, penguins eat fish. All in all, it was pretty good. It answered almost nothing, but it gave us a quick idea of where everyone's been for the last few months. But for now, let's uh, drop into spoiler territory, shall we? So once again, it's stop spoiler time. Oh, no, no, no. Tonight's episode had a few WTFs for places and things, but I think for the most part it was very character-driven tonight. So that's where we're going to start, characters. Gordon is as big of a hero as ever. He seems to already have a plan most of the time. Right now he's working as a bounty hunter, and you know what? I'm really liking it. It's not exactly like the canon of the comics or any of the movies, but the idea of him being the outsider has always been part of Jim Gordon's appeal. Now, instead of being the outsider coming to Gotham for the first time, he's the outsider because he's not working with the police force. Watching him arrest Langstrom, aka Man Bat, was probably one of the greatest scenes, although a couple of the villains that he fought I wasn't quite able to identify. Up next is Catwoman, or should I say Selina Kyle, and I really like the way they play her off. She's working for Fish, well, as much as she works for anyone other than herself. I like the interplay between her and Bruce. I like the fact that they can be kids and play off each other without being the super sexy flirty that we are used to from Catwoman. I think this actress is going to leave her mark on Catwoman as well as any has. Now, as for how the episode ends, well, as a fan of the show, I'm one of the first to say that things are different. However, I have to say that the change to Ivy is one of those things that has me pretty nervous. Now, they handled this part so far okay. She got touched by the person that ages you. She fell in the water. We're going to have to wait and see. It's not like we really know what's going on. Except I get the feeling we know exactly what's going to go on. The Batman. I mean Bruce Wayne. Silly me. I do think that he was mostly bluffing. I don't think he really has as much information on the Court of Owls as he pretends to. I did think that was a rather good play. And I have to admit, between the play between him and Alfred has gotten better each season. Of all the storylines that were introduced, I have to say, this one's really the one that interests me the most, where Bruce is going from here. I am curious what's going on with the older clone of him, but again, we don't really have a lot of information about that. The part of the Wayne's part that got played up both the best and the worst is Alfred, though. I'm kind of getting annoyed. Alfred's supposed to be pretty much a badass. You know, like former military special forces, and it seems like he falls down to the wharf effect every time you turn around. For those of you that don't know, the wharf effect was a TV trope named for Worf. Who's the most badass member of the Star Trek crew? Worf. How do we know the new villain is badass? He beat up Worf. Gotham PD has a whole bunch of interesting characters going on. I have to say the fact that Lucius Fox is now part of that set instead of part of the Wayne Enterprise set has me a little confused, but I'm willing to see how this gets played out. We also now have this new reporter, and in general, I'm liking the whole feel. I especially like the fact that I don't think all of these villains are necessarily just Batman villains that we've seen so far. I think that we're getting just, in general, the idea of things like Batman villains, and that works out pretty good in my mind. Now, as we go through this, this is only the first episode. I do think it started off very strong. I do think it had a few weak points, and I have a few things I'm worried about. But all in all, I'm pretty hyped for Gotham. What about you guys? Why don't you leave that down in the comments for me and tell me what you thought of this episode, if there was anything I missed, especially any Easter eggs. In the meantime, I need you to like, subscribe, and share this video so that we can grow this community and then join me back here next time as we take a walk through the heart of the stories we tell. Thanks for watching.